Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. And you pray in the name of Jesus, and nothing seems to happen. You can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health. Is that true? It does not mean you don't believe in divine health, but hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning. God himself knows that it's a process. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Yes, one my for me. Listen, let me tell you the day my deliverance came. I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me when that light entered me i ran i stood in front of my room then and i shouted i pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me i begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned listen when we minister like this number one we are not being boastful number two we are not negating what christ has done the administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives this is what the bible calls faith the name of the action you take based on your conviction on who god is and the integrity of his person it is always by grace but it is through faith grace is the name given to everything that is in god released to man only through the office of the Christ. That's what we call grace. Mercy is grace. Power is grace. Wisdom is grace. Grace is not unmerited favor. That's just one dimension of it. Grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes God God. It's called grace. But the system of access and delivery is what we must learn. Help that person please. Help that lady under the anointing. Believers, we must trust God to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims. Help her. There is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there. Because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. So understand, there are many spirits, but this one is that spirit, the Lord. The Lord is that spirit. And where the Lord is, you know He signs that signature by giving men liberty. So that a door that has been closed for 90 years, your grandfather tried to open till he died there. Your father tried to open till he died. We are not going to open it. We will break it into pieces. So that your children too can pass. Do you know why Nathaniel said to Jesus, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He was not lying. There was an antecedent. There, there was a track record. There are regions where men only rise by eating from others. They never become established. No matter how educated. There are regions where it's the women that feed the men. The husband is the wife and the wife is the husband. Hard working, diligent people. How about people where doors are open for you? Just when you are seeing it to pick it. Who seen that this man was born blind? That means there was something Jesus taught them. Immediately they saw this. A good student said, Jesus, you've taught us something. But who seen? Was it this man or his father? He said, neither. But that the glory of the Lord be revealed. Can I tell you this? This night I want you to be angry and make up your mind. We have a few minutes tonight. We are going to trust God to have a convocation within this place. To walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the Lord. Listen. Can I tell you this? I remember many years ago. This was in Zaria. We are about to pray. A precious man of God came to meet me and as soon as he entered my room I saw a spirit behind him I was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person I kept quiet and then I told him I said sir can I pray for you I think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately 
No, 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 no. Don't talk to me about oppression. I said, okay, I'm sorry. I hope I don't offend you. But if you will allow me to pray for her, ah, I just want you to agree with me. I said, no problem. Let's do the agreement. When I held his hand, he only got up after how many minutes? The kind of deliverance that happened to him. See, it did not take one week. It's like the doors were just opening like this. Do you know that guy returned back and said, Apostle, what happened? Upon Mount Zion. Listen. Where does the deliverance happen? Where does the deliverance happen? Go to the book of Hebrews. What is in Mount Zion? The church of the firstborn. Innumerable company of angels. That's why deliverance happens. Zion is the appropriate way for, place for deliverance to happen. If it does not happen upon Mount Zion, where else does it happen? There shall be deliverance and then holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess. It will never enter your hand till the resistance has been cleared away. I can tell you this. Hear me. There are men of God. Do you know even over this city there are controlling powers? When God sent me to this city, I took out quality time. Signing that spiritual register. Let me tell you this Help them I tell you the truth And forgive me If it sounds like I'm just bragging You can be in a city Yet spiritually you are outside that city Because the gate is still closed over you You do business in that city You will lose You do whatever in that city You will lose Because the two leaf gates have not been parted Are you ready to pray? I once prayed for a woman who had a school And all of a sudden mysteriously Wonderful woman People started picking their children away from the school What did she do? It was not that okay they got some new teachers And I called her I said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence But let's deal with this There are spiritual things To be dealt with I prayed for that woman I anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere let me tell you this if there is anything I know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airways that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what I'm sharing with you because from here now we are going to pray and I will begin to minister. I am going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night. And then we are going to pray for the sick. We will speak over your prayer request. This is the sixth, month, the sixth month. There has to be an evidence. Someone promised to help you and lift you. And like the wine presser. The moment they get out of prison, they forget you. And their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain. I don't know about you. If you are alright, your children are alright, you are already enjoying everything, pray for us. But as for me and my house, make up your mind that Father, there must be an evidence of your favor, your grace. But before then, hear me. There are families that are connected. I know what I'm seeing as I'm speaking here. So I want your heart to be open as we pray. No distraction. Focus on Jesus. And let's deal with some of these issues. Palabarufiata. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. One prayer point, and then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Please let your heart be open. Please rise up on your feet. Please rise up on your feet. And we're going to pray. You're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of Christ, everything connected to ancestry, connected to bloodlines, foundations, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, He must let you go now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Are you praying? Please pray. Scatabaranda Katabragadabalagata. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. Scatabranda Katabaranda 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 Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to give way. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. We have a few minutes and we are going to be very, very fast. But I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We are going to pray for the sick and we are going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names. Everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. One, two, three. I command that devil out of their life now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them up by the power that in the name of God. The spirit of the day over individuals, over families. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. 
it helped people for years you are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down right now fire is coming from heaven that every pain in the name of Jesus change be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now all the overflow outside following online let's go change be broken in the name of Jesus we are still praying who is Deborah I'm hearing the name Deborah they call you Deborah Deborah or Deborah Deborah there's someone with that name just very quickly I want to speak to you Deborah you have a name Deborah who is that person let me pray for you Hiya, hiya, Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Deborah. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three. Three. One, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos. You are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people, please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I cut it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Everything that is not a planting of God may fire from heaven. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. Upon it now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying recurrent sickness. Coming again, you treat it. Coming again, you treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now, out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. I cast that devil. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are standing. Please return back to your seats rejoicing. Where is. I don't know if you've gotten the woman. I'm seeing in my vision a fair woman. You are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man.
Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. There is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White. White and white. I want to speak to that person. Is there someone like... Not, not just this one. It's not... Is there someone like that? You are not in this auditorium. What's your name, sir? Come and stand here. What do you do? Huh? I said you are wearing white and white. I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine. What do you do? I'm a tailoring, sir. Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's fear God. There's, there's order in the house of God. Please, if we don't call your case and you come, we'll politely drive you back to your seat. Please, there is order in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I want to pray for you. Madam, I know your husband is following. Don't worry, husband. You don't have to come. Just stand in faith. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There are two people at the back. The power of God is coming on them with a loud shout. Please pick them and bring them out. Two people at the back. I just saw light leaving this place. Right to the back. Please bring them. My dear, I cause everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry. What do you do? Huh? I'm an entrepreneur. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, do you, what do you do? I was actually doing Uber, but I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi millionaire? You believe me? Listen, when, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We are kingdom driven people, and everything we do is for His glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity which spirit brings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I cost those spirits right now. I cost those tabaka tabaka books. I cost those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? Jane. 
like J-A-N-E I'm hearing a name Jane we may not have all the time to speak to people one on one Jane is there someone like that who is gift gift G-I-F-T is there someone like that gift Let hope, let it rise Darkness trembles in your own delight hey, Let hope, let it rise Hallelujah We are going to pray The Lord is showing me Someone, your mother your mother is in the hospital right now i'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hand by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cross the walkings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus help them please hallelujah ah wow this is serious um please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out I'm seeing a woman you have been pregnant this is way past nine months it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that In the name of Jesus, Kaparutla. Please pray. Hallelujah. 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 Why is she here? Why are you here? You are pregnant. There's no pregnancy there now. Pregnant. This is not spiritually preg physically pregnant. More than nine months. How many years? How many years? One year, five months. Come and stand here. How many years? One year, nine months. How many years? Give out the mic. This one, I'm still one year, nine months written on her. Stand up. This is demonic. How can a human... Hold on, please, madam. It's all right. It's all right. How can a person hold pregnancy for one year, nine months? I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. My dear, hold up. Look at me, look at me. Let's save time, man. Stand up. Let me just minister to you. Please be patient this night and let God give us a visitation. You are married? This is my daughter, Nancy. 
I saw you in my dream. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. It's all right. We are, God, um, God has answered your prayer. We are going to pray. Huh? Look at this. Look at me. I curse that spirit. According to God's design for us, there are doctors here. Women. Is it not nine months? It's elephants that carry children for over two years or so. Not human beings. This is witchcraft. Everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give birth to. Business ideas, vision, every power stopping your delivery. I command you to clear the way now. Clear the way now. As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her, just help her. Madam, you're married. I lost my husband for one, uh, last year. He was poisoned. And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant. And you go to the hospital. She did not see anything. <laughs> Stretch your hands. Pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood. Hey, Satan, take your hands from this woman. In the name of Jesus, we command every demonic hindrance. Give way now. You have taken all the pain You have taken all the shame You have taken all the disappointment You have taken all the worries You have taken them yours You have taken all my pain You have taken all my shame You have taken all Follow. You have taken all the weakness. You have made them yours. Listen, if this is a genuine pregnancy, then we declare according to the time of life. May you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify. You are her sister or who is this? Your sister. Oh dear. Don't cry. Weep not. For the book is open. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Madam, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, let there be a miracle for you right now. My sister, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now i'm hearing the name astabe a s a b e it's like that's somebody's name is there someone like that i want to pray who is that who has we give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. And I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead 
everything that is not a planting of God roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of Jesus number two madam the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you the month of July call it your month of restoration the Lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life I declare it so in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone here we are going to pray but I'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the Lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer I want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death people are following on air no telling lies no telling lies we are praying for everybody if your father biological father is not a military officer please stay back make sure that you don't just come out at random we're praying now praise the name of the Lord you just come and stand quickly and let's pray please don't be tired God is visiting people I just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out i release that grace for speed bring them out there is a strength place for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of god take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out great grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we are prophesied by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month be be to your life Help them please speak to your life. I'm still praying it. I'm still seeing that great rest on people. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life. Supernatural speed. Hallelujah. There is a man of God here. Oh dear. You have been praying, don't come out. The power of God will come on you. You have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic. You are on this road. This road. The power of God will touch other people, but the person I'm talking about is on this road. This road at the back. Bring the person. There is a grace for signs and wonders. As it's happening to one, as many as desire. In the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest upon your ministry, upon your life. Grace is coming upon you. Time, wonders. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at what God will do in your life. Grace. You will command signs and wonders in business, in ministry. May the good hand of God come upon you. Hallelujah. Any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family, I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone's father who is a military officer. In the name of Jesus, you will not die in battle. I declare supernatural preservation by the power of the Holy Spirit. Preserved by the good hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Preserved by the hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your brother has been missing for two years. Not has been missing. Two years. Two years. Who is that? That's your number one prayer request. Come and stand here. Stand up, please. My dear. Just minimize crying when you come so that we are to you. God has located you. Praise the name of the Lord. Please don't cry. Look at me, my dear. Your brother. What's his name? Benjamin. 
How many years? <laughs> 35. 35. Uh, how many years has he been missing? Two years. How about you? What's the name of your brother? Nandom. He's been missing? Yes, sir. And my sister? Fejiro. He has been missing for two years. What's his name? Fejiro. A... What does he do? He just graduated. So, he... What was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, he just went away. Well, well, on live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, we have to pray for our relatives. Because sometimes, this deception that people bring, let's help you get to this country, you will get a job. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what is happening to him. But in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is making him misbehave is still alive. Come back home now. Can I tell you this? There is no country that has an advantage by default. If the Lord does not go with you, every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it. So just because it's US or UK or Asia does not mean automatically. Now I know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper. But I'm telling you, except God holds a man's hand and helps you in this life, you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday. My sister, where are you from? I want to pray for you. This prayer is not just for your brother. Let me start with you first. Huh? Shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave you. The spirit that is part of shame and reproach, release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent, sir. You are a real estate agent? Yes, sir. Do your real estate. Yes, sir. But start preparing for ministry. Hmm? Look at me. The call of God was upon your life before real estate. You know that, right? God showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism. Yes, you see yourself go to your village. Yes, sir. You are from my place now. Yes, sir. Yes, Prepare. sir. Prepare. God yes, is sir. calling you. Do your real estate, but then at the same time, don't run away from the call of God. The call of God is not a cause. Many of us run away because we think you will not eat. So we run away as though God just calls people to rubbish their life. He calls us into a life of honor. Are we together now? My friend, don't cry. I pray that God will help you in your real estate. But I also pray that you will answer the call. And that God will equip you and he will use you mightily. For all our loved ones who are missing, be found in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This will be the first time I will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since God brought us here. I'm not one person who comes out and says, you know, prophecies and all of that. No, I love the Lord. Whatever we see, we pray. But listen, I'm saying it openly. Pray for Abuja. I will just leave it there. We must pray that God will frustrate the counsel of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that God will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that God will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of God. Are we together now? Don't say what I did not say. Pray. But you see, God has granted us grace. And he has put a burden even for the territory. I'm not one person who just comes to speak negative. But if you hear me say this, please pray. In the name of Jesus. That there will not be a resurgence of bombings. 
and a resurgence of strange kidnapping not of ordinary people but of political figures within the place this is the devil and in the name of jesus we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass we superimpose it by the power that raised christ from the dead in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of life, kings and priests. We declare God's power has come. No further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Fast. I want you to agree two things in one have you written your prayer request now this is what i want you to do very quickly please just pass it to pass it nobody's reading it so you just feel free pass it to the last person by maybe the left or the right aisle whichever those please all the overflows let's do same outside if you're following from any nation you can send it to our social media platforms it's time for us to pray we are going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones? We believe in miracles. It will take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus, we believe, Jesus, there is healing in your name. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact. Those following on TV, you are following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith connect now by faith every nation every territory we believe in the god that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer requests very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and i want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in miracles and signs and wonders. Now watch this please. This is what we are going to do. This will be very very fast. Very fast. Let's walk together. I am going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you. The moment I do that, I want you to begin to check yourself. And I am going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God whether you are inside or outside the moment i'm praying some of you whilst you came out here miracles were already happening to you check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened i like you to run come and stand by my left or my right whichever there will be people to just check you and will take a few miracles then we'll pray over the request and i prophesy over you and we're done praise the name of the lord now lay your hands there and let's pray this is the house of healing this is a house of miracles in the name of jesus christ please shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here release them now in the name of Jesus release them in the name of Jesus right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name 
be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair stand lift that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you has been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service and those who are checking themselves now please check yourself very quickly you find out that the power of God has taught you be bold make your way to the front as we celebrate them those from outside if they are coming from outside for healing please allow them come are you celebrating miracles miracles are happening check yourself and make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia is this the best you can do Jesus is touching people touching people from outside quickly quickly it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know that more than found in you. It's in you, Lord. We know Please, let's, let's take a few testimonies. We may not have time to take so much, but let the people come. Please sit for a few minutes. Whoever is ready, yes, sir. 
please help us with the mic very quickly let's celebrate a few miracles here and then go ahead yes the lord has actually started very fantastic things amongst us hallelujah amen praise god i've had severe abdominal pain for over a year abdominal pain yes and right now ulcer is gone completely gone yes sir celebrate jesus place your hand there in the name of jesus go now in the name of jesus christ yes please apostle partial deafness has just been healed my left leg this is the result that's your the test result the test result they told me i have profound loss to total hearing loss and where I'm hearing 25 the both ears and right now yes he made mention he specifically mentioned that of the left ear and the left ear was the one that had the worst result and, and right now it's open from the back give jesus hear. praise come on my god i stretch my hands and i declare perfection on your ears it never returns again in jesus name i pray yes please these two people they have severe back pain back pain back pain they for how long pain. sir they couldn't bend six months now six months my god koinonia are you celebrating miracles now they can bend comfortably bend. And check yourself any pain any pain both of you this one of our medical officials too oh <laughs> you are <laughs> oh dear beautiful so now god will heal you and then you get to your work one of our medical people has been healed too by the power of the holy spirit amen everyone receives in this house i stretch my hands let there be miracles right now in jesus name there are so many people maybe a few of them can come here very quickly yes please very quickly swelling on the leg disappears swelling swelling on the leg There's how long give her the mic how long very quickly for one week here was swelling no it was swelling yes. and it's gone right now yes, in the name of jesus it never returns again don't commonize miracles this is how god is opening doors in your life too in jesus name swelling in our throat too for like six swelling months. yes it's not swelling but this long thing that inside was touching my tongue and i was feeling uncomfortable okay and now uh, it's gone completely i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus perfection for you in jesus name yes sir praise the lord i have a problem with my leg whenever i sit down for long when i stand up i fall weak the leg just become weak and i just fall down you fall down yes so but ever since i came to this service i'm not conscious of standing up like i feel free now Run. with the leg try to jump any pain in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare perfection for you now by the power of the holy spirit Mr. apostle since he was a small boy he's had problems with his chest with breathing but now breathing yes i had problem with the chest so when i was sitting at the basement i was not feeling comfortable breathing so when you say we should put our hands in our chest yes. so i decided to just put it by as faith. usual so when i just put my hands so normally i search for fresh air to breathe if i go through this way i see that the place is stuffy i go to the next place and right now yes yeah, so i've been breathe, walking around. breathing and out any pain no, any sir. pain give jesus praise we declare it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes please also growth in the neck for four years growth in the neck yes. gone yes sir since 2017 since 2017 yes i had my a God. dream that someone forced something down my throat i was struggling and when i woke up it has been everything like that. that is not the planting of god it returns back to the devil amen in the name of jesus christ amen. god bless you yes was a similar experience for one my mom she's at home she has this swelling on her neck then she says me this message that she's praying for her why are you praying i place my hand on my neck i pray for her after i finished praying i called her i told her mom how is your neck she told me she's perfectly okay now where is she she's at home where is home she's at anambra state she's okay all the now. way from anambra yes, state sir. those following online in the name of jesus christ let there be miracles and breakthroughs for you Amen by the power of the holy spirit Amen. yes please also, she has had dislocation in her hand she even came with the bandage but now dislocation is where is the bandage she she it it. what couldn't you do before you couldn't do this go ahead lift it let the devil see both the bandage and your healed hands supernatural miracle come listen brothers and sisters you see let me tell you something here yeah? the working of miracles is a gift and a grace 
if you don't have it you don't have it if it's there it is there praise the lord but then the side effect in a house that miracles easily happen just like water is that sometimes we may commonize the workings of miracles and what god is doing every one of these miracles you see there is a story of tragedy and pain this is deliverance this is healing that god is bringing for them we rejoice with you and we declare you go back home and tell them this is what happens when we come to church god bless you bless you my dear yes please this has been confirmed by a medical official she had a topic pregnancy she was operated upon and then she has been in severe pain severe she pain. not even work what's your now? name my dear from gen patients boy and then you have a problem a topic pregnancy yes. she was operated and she's been having pain yes. number one that pain is perfected Amen. number two in the name of jesus we declare that you will be a joyful mother of children Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you yes sir apostle since 2014 he's had moving objects he feels things moving around him and now persecution sir sir because of persecution i came from meduguri sir because of persecution so yes moving all over yes they want to forsake they want to give me sir in the name of jesus yes. christ perfection i stretch my hands right now may the power of the holy spirit touch you and in jesus name every demonic thing i'm seeing you inside a coffin i declare now as i'm praying for you in the name of jesus everything that is a programming of death be delivered from it now amen in the name of jesus christ amen. Yes, please. Pain, several pains. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you, all of you, with all sorts of pain, let there be healing for you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Yes, sir. Pain from ectopic pregnancy gone. Hallelujah. This issue of pregnancy and this demonic thing we stand by the god of heaven and we declare you will not get pregnant and lose it in the name of jesus christ every spirit that continues to make that you get pregnant and then it doesn't work you give your best you try and it does not work i curse it right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus my dear be healed by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please very quickly apostle the lord is indeed faithful amen she's had 17 seizures yesterday 17 17 seizures. the mother has the records here she keeps record of this madam talk don't cry just talk quickly one Sir, minute when she turned 12 like was last year she just started misbehaving. She used to have seizure, maybe in a minute. Yes. If she's having anything in her hand, she will throw it. She will naked herself. Then the thing started this year in the school. It was not doing her in the school, but it began to progress. It started in the school. The seizure started. We were praying. So yeah, what they happened saw, now? Yeah, yesterday because of this miracle service i've been asking god to heal her yesterday i started taking records it, the seizure started around 2 12 20 a.m in the night as i recorded till night what, and 12, what has happened now 17 but today i started 2, 2 20. since this service started the last seizure was 5 11. she's not had any she seizure. Has not had it till now My dear, what's yes. your name Esther. Esther. Esther, I rebuke every spirit that wants to destroy the destiny of this our beautiful daughter. Seizures in the name of Jesus. See, I'm praying for the daughter and is the mother, the power of God is coming on. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare if it's a pattern within that family, we break it now. Amen. By the way, let me speak over everyone. Any pattern you have seen, recurrent patterns happens to loved ones and is happening to you in the name of jesus christ that pattern comes to an end now that pattern comes to an end now hallelujah please let's just take two two and then two two and then we we'll just you can document the rest and they can have it next week yes very quickly 
in her body for the past 10 years. She said she could literally feel 10 body. years. You feel objects in your body. Breathing. But immediately you cause the case now. She's completely gone. Way. My dear, it will never return to you again. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.